Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a quick peek at one more thing you can do with your math. It is called the modulus operator. It can actually be quite useful. I just want to compare it to when you normally divide two integers and you, uh, and you get some answer. Let's say 20. Let's say B is, uh, let's say B is 6. And let's say integer C. Now, we know from before that when you do something like this, A divided by B, and I print out the answer, you know that this is going to do integer math, right? 20 divided by 6. Okay, we know it's like 3.666. But, of course, we just see the answer 3 because it's integer math. Now, what we want to show you here is that could be useful because let's say you, uh, you have 20 people show up. Volleyball has six people a team. How many full teams do you have? Well, 20 divided by 6 came out to be 3. That's perfect. You have three full teams. You know, that decimal part wasn't really needed for the answer. So sometimes this integer math division is good. But sometimes you also want to know a little bit about the extra part. Where did that 0 0.66 go? Well, there's an operator. One more you can do here. It's the percent sign. It's called the modulus operator. And what this basically does is it just does leftovers. So you'll see here what the answer is. This is now 20. Divide. And what's the leftover when you divide by 6? So 20 divided by 6, 3, makes you 18. And there's a remainder of 2. So it's basically, I shouldn't say the leftover. A better term there is the remainder, right? See what this prints out now? We get the 2. And you can see, you know, if you do any of these, right? 13 divided by 5. 5 goes in twice with 3 remainder. And so you get the 3 remainder. Even works with negative numbers. If you give it a go, you'll see this thing will actually still spit out okay, a remainder of negative 3, which is actually correct. So that's just a little word on modulus. When is modulus good? Sometimes you divide two things, and uh, you want to know what the remainder is. So that's the modulus operator. I uh, can't tell you when it'll pop up. But it does pop up, and you will see it in this course. So there's your modulus operator. Thanks for watching.